Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diddy. This is going to be game three between Machine and Kiko, and it could be a fast finals because Machine really controlling the matches thus far. Kiko starting the upper left-hand corner as the kind of ugly yellowish green Terran. Upper right-hand corner, we have Machine starting as the Grey Zerg. This is going to be on Turbine, the map that has the protected internal natural expansion. And Kiko losing two straight-up macro matches. He's Those drops have been solid. I mean, they've they've cleared some drone lines, but Kiko really hasn't been able to just out macro machine is what it comes down to. Machine, I think that's where, I don't know if he chose his name because he was like, okay, I'm just going to be a macro player. I'm just going to be a brutal macro Zerg or what, but definitely showing his macro prowess in these matches. Overlord being produced for Machine, so probably going to see a 12 hatch, potentially an overpool. Kiko is starting to seal in his front door. But you basically get a free natural expansion if you just, yeah, seal that front door in, so. But I'm wondering if Kiko has something different, because he's now in a deficit 2-0. I think it's time to switch up the game plan if, you're just, if your 2 racks straight up build is not stymieing your opponent effectively. I think it's, yeah, time to start... Uh, Choosing other options. Potentially going to see a 12 hatch. Looks like we are seeing a 12 hatch. Machine moving out that drone to go ahead and grab that protected interior natural. Barracks on the front. And it looks like Kiko setting up for a one racks into expand. I'm wondering if I do feel like kind of this interior protected natural expansion might. I don't know whether to say it. I I, I think it favors Zerg actually. Because, yeah, it's an easy to protect natural against Zergling runbys, but it's also kind of a wide open area for Mutalisk attacks. Or just a lot of territory to cover still. Kiko getting first scout with that SCV. Gonna be able to wander in. Spawning pool being built. Extractor plopping down as well. I liked the barracks idea last game. It's unfortunate they got scouted. Might have been a complete turnaround had that barracks completed. Just attacking that spawning pool to be frustrating. Gas up for Kiko. So Kiko may be going for a factory build. Yeah, hiding that factory, that left hand corner. He is able to box out that drone. Single Marine on the front. Here's an. I like this actually. Because typically, like an indicator that, oh, hey, it's a factory build, is the lack of blinking on that barracks towards the front. But the Overlord can't really get into a position where it can confirm or deny. Because here's the vision for Machine. He really can't confirm or deny whether Marines are being produced or not. And he probably doesn't want to sack an Overlord early to just, oh, hey, yeah, this is the opening build we're going up against. So Kiko, with kind of a clever shift, we're seeing two hatch layer now. And I don't know that Machine's going to be heads up enough. SCV's down to go ahead and plant a something colony to deal with this. So first, and it's going to be... 1-1-1 one, 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 it looks like. Machine shot being plopped down as well. Machine is moving into a build that can help deal with this in the two hash mutalisk. That tends to be why players do it at large. Machine maybe has wind of this. He's already placing that creep colony preventatively. He's wandering up, has confirmed, okay, there's some marines here and that barracks is blinking. Vulture speed. And the initial vulture being produced and actually canceling. Oh, so upon seeing the marine in the blink, he canceled that Sutton colony. So well played by Kiko. And that actually, that's devastating because the vulture sneaking up here could get a bunch of kills. Spire now being built. As much room as there is for mutalisks to go ahead and do some damage here, there's also a lot of room for vultures to kind of mic micro back and forth and get a ton of drone kills. Control tower being dropped. Very, I guess, previous meta. I don't want to say old school. Feels old school at this stage because it's been a year or two since I've seen this. Vulture speed going to complete. And actually, rather than opting for the Wraith, we're seeing a drop ship being built. Have not seen this build before. Spire is going to complete. There will be Mutalisks out. Third base has... 
started to build here at the 6 o'clock location. But this could be dangerous for Machine. So it's going to be... And Kiko completely emptying his, his defenses. The Vulture now scouted. Something Colony is going to complete on the front door, but are there going to be Mutalisks in time for Machine to defend? Vulture scooting up. Drones in position to blockade, but again, the Vultures don't have to attack that front. They can wait for that dropship. The dropship looks like it's not going to move in with Marines. It's just going to go ahead and scoop up these Vultures to drop in the main. However, Mutalisks are being built on the way, so looks like Machine with that timing potentially hard countering it so drones dying but not in sufficient enough time to really make it worth it because now with those vultures gone and not producing a wraith not producing a valkyrie no medic support with these marines i don't think they have any upgrades stim range or anything and they got to defend against incoming Mutalisks, which is going to be a challenge. Turrets there, plus this is one base versus two base, which gives Machine the economic lead. Pressing in. SCV's trying to group prepare that turret. That's not happening. And seeing no medics, Marine dedicating attacks. Yep. Yeah. And with that... Honestly, I felt like that potential that had some potential, but not sure I liked the dropship as a turnaround play. Maybe uh, Vulture is sneaking into the main before it's something calling uh, timing. I don't know. Maybe Machine can see it in time with the Overlord and Zerglings to get it up. But made it interesting. Unfortunately, Kiko dropping yet another match. So it is now 3-0 Machine with a strong lead in this Hostile League Grand Final.